Welcome to the AW149 demonstrator aircraft, uh, Leonardo's newest medium multi-role military aircraft. One of the big things about the AW149 is its small footprint for a huge capability. So you can see it's actually not that big an aircraft from the outside with the rotor disc size and the uh, tricycle undercarriage. Uh, which is great so we can get in really small areas uh, that legacy aircraft can get into uh, and, what, and as you approach the aircraft you can see underneath it's got a really big ground clearance and a nice big undercarriage with large wheels so we can land on any surface. Uh, approaching the aircraft, really large cabin accessed by twin sliding doors that operate backwards really wide, you can fit lots of stretchers across, uh, actually across ways, uh, which is great. And we can have up to 19 seats uh, in the back here. Forward of the uh, twin sliding doors, we can actually fit uh, crew surf weapons. So twin 7.62 millimeter machine guns at the moment. And they're in a really nice position for protecting the aircraft when you're coming into land. So forward of the twin sliding doors, twin sliding doors open with your troops uh, in the back. As we move further aft, you can see how high the tail rotor is here, which is great. So we can actually land at 15 degrees nose up, uh, which is a, a, you know, is a real feature of, of the uh, 149, which gives us safety with, from the troops ingressing and egressing the aircraft, but also as a pilot, it gives us loads of tail rotor clearance. So we can actually land and do brownout landings, uh, running landings uh, at quite high nose up. And that's combined with the field of view in the, in the, in the cockpit. That gives us really good visibility and real, real ability to fly the aircraft uh, low over the terrain. Okay, so welcome to the cockpit of the 149. And as you could see from the flight, uh, all the systems that give me a lot of uh, spare capacity uh, to be able to operate the aircraft with the uh, digital automatic flying control system, uh, the ability to start the aircraft really quickly. You saw as well, we were airborne within only a few minutes of getting in the aircraft, starting the APU very quickly, starting both engines very quickly, getting our mission system set up, uh, putting the nav route in the system, and then very quickly being able to get airborne and then get, execute that mission. Vibration levels are very low, so the troops in the back, you know, arrive refreshed. Large windows. If the worst was to happen, then we've got great uh, emergency egress routes uh, to be able to get out the aircraft as well. Uh, and up front, just that extra integrated systems that give me more spare capacity and spatial awareness, you know, to think about the mission. 